What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, man. This one's gonna be about. It's time to quit. No, this is not a negative message. This is more of a motivational message. And, you know, we're going into a new year, 2024. You know, a lot of people, they wait into the new years. They wait until, you know, day one or, you know, when the ball drops. Happy New Year, all that stuff, right? But it's like, why wait for a day that's not promised to come for you to change your life? For you to quit your addictions, to quit the bad habits, to quit the toxic friends or maybe the toxic relationships, uh, to quit living in sin and, you know, quit complaining, quit being bitter, quit being jealous and envious. Like, it's just time to quit, man. It's time to quit all of that. Okay, 2024, everyone should put in their mind, their heart, their spirits, their goal. It's to level up, man. It's to level up in all areas of your life. Always strive to be better, okay? One thing that I learned about walking this straight and narrow path, you always want to be having goals for yourself because it keeps you busy. And when you have goals for yourself, you're not really thinking about doing things of the flesh because like bro you got you got things to live for you know you got something to look forward into in life because you know you got your your goals and your dreams and you know your aspirations and you know what you really want in life you know that you're gonna get with hard work you know discipline and you know always keeping god first too you know and the things that we work hard for in life we don't always get because it's not god's will in our life and luckily i learned that at a young age because um there was so many things that I worked hard for in life, but it wasn't God's will for my life. So like I wasted a whole bunch of time. So it's very important, guys, to pray about what you want, what you aspire to get. And, you know, do not wait, guys, for January 1st. Happy New Year and stuff like that. You know how the ball drops and all that. Don't wait for that day. Do it today. Do it today. Quit, guys. Today, I'm quitting. And you got to speak this into existence, okay? A lot of people say it's new age and stuff like that. And uh, the Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue, okay? I mean, there's many Bible verses that support speaking blessings. You know, that's not the only one. I think James chapter 3 talks about that too as well, how your body is a ship and your tongue is a steering wheel. And it could direct you to where you want to go in life. A lot of you guys are in a bad place. It's most likely because, you know, reaping what is sown, of course. Um, and also, you know, what's coming out of your mouth. You know, always, guys after you're praying or whatever you do after you brush your teeth or maybe when you're showering start speaking good start speaking blessings you know today i choose to do better whatever goal you have start speaking it five times and, and already believe that you already have it okay it's a mindset man like i've been acquiring so much wisdom from god lately and it's just like i'm mind blown bro and i just have to share it with you guys because some of you guys right now are in a rut which is okay it's life we're gonna go through ruts we're gonna go through trials and tribulations you're gonna go through spiritual warfare especially remember guys when i talked about 2024 being the level up always keep that in mind too that you know new levels new devils so you're gonna go through spiritual warfare and one thing that i noticed too a very important thing about walking with the most high is i noticed that before the blessing or before like I'm about to win in life, like before, before like something that I prayed for that I'm about to receive, you're going to go through many things. Like you're going to go through a lot of stuff that is going to make you want to quit. It's going to make you want to throw in the towel. It's going to make you want to just give up. But that's actually when God is testing you because even there even says in the scriptures that, you know, when you bring forth gold, you got to get tried through the fire. So God will purposely put you through that fire you know, and you might, and one thing I noticed about when he's putting me through the fire, like I find myself more alone. And when I'm more alone, I'm more in tune with the Holy Spirit. And uh, I'm more in tune with what, what God has for me. And, you know, and also I'm not in tune with my flesh and I'm, I'm not in tune with my carnal desires. Remember, we are raging war every day, you know, uh, every day is a battle. Okay. You know, we don't want to, like I said, you know, quit complaining, quit blaming other people and blame yourself because you are responsible for what you have, for what's happened in your life for the most part, for the most part. I know sometimes, you know, you can't control it, but you know, always understand that God's in control. And we always like to blame people, but you know, when you wanna grow and level up in life, you gotta be accountable, take accountability for your actions. Uh, and you know, like, so what's the goals that you guys have, man? Because for me, 
Like it's, it's time to go up, man. It's time. It's time to stand in. You know, I'm preparing myself mentally and spiritually, emotionally, physically, all that. Like for the attacks that the enemy is gonna throw at me because he wants you to stay down there. He wants you to be carnal. He wants you to just be living in sin and just wasting your life away. That's what the enemy wants for your life. But God wants the opposite for that. And you know, it's always gonna be a battle. And you know, always keep in mind too that the devil is going to use people around you the weak vessels he's going to use those who are maybe are just you know weak those who are you know not everyone who gets used by the devil is is a demon or a devil let me talk let me talk about that real quick too because you know even peter uh saying kept saying couldn't get to christ because he was spiritually strong so he had to get to those around him it wasn't just judas he also he used peter too as well you know that's why christ rebuked him so it doesn't mean that peter was a devil or a demon or like that it just is weak so you got to have discernment and understand Who's who in your life, you know? Remember, we know a tree by its fruits. And, um, you know, you're going to have many people who feel some type of way about you. And I guess it is what it is. But, yeah, guys, start speaking into your life. Today, I quit this addiction. Today, I quit living in sin. Today, I quit this and that. Or maybe uh, you want to get your finances up. You know, today, I attract something that could better my finances. Today, I attract something... Or say I, you know, let's say if you want to gain weight, or maybe you want to lose weight, start speaking that. It's free to do this stuff, guys. It's actually crazy, and you're gonna find yourself, you know, not, maybe not the same day or the same hour, but slowly but surely, you're gonna find yourself gravitating to what you're speaking out of your tongue. Okay, death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. And I really love wisdom, bro, because wisdom is really a guide, like. Wisdom truly comes from the Holy Spirit because I'm able to walk the way that I know that God wants for me. And not to say that I'm, I don't make mistakes and I'm perfectly and I'm not without sin and stuff like that. But um, it really directs you and it always shows you like the danger ahead, you know. It always shows you what's going to happen ahead. Like a lot of you guys are about to level up right now. And you feel it in your spirit. And that's God also revealing to you too as well. Like God will always reveal it to you. And the reason why God does that. Of course, he wants to let you know, but it's to give you motivation, to give you hope. Um, you know, because the most important things is is hope uh, and love. And um, there's a Bible verse. I remember when I was going through it in life, man, I was going through it tough in life. And I remember it says that, you know, having hope. Because a lot of us, man, we could go through times where we're hopeless, man. I remember crying in tears, bro, because I, I was without hope. And, you know, God doesn't want us to be hopeless, man. He wants us to look forward to what he has for us in our life. And even though, like I said, guys, we may be in a rut, we may find ourselves in darkness. Maybe sin is overtaking us. Uh, we're weak or maybe we've fallen short, you know, happens to all of us. So you don't want to beat yourself down for that and just understand that, you know, today is a new day. Uh, I'm going to start speaking it in life. You know, some people, guys, they're in the state they're in. I'm telling you guys because of what they're speaking you know also evil communications corrupting your good manners being around the wrong people and also so wisdom that i learned too as well when god doesn't want you to be around someone he allows that person to betray you he allows that person to hurt you or do whatever you know to just so you could cut them off because where god is taking you that he's not taking them too they didn't deserve the blessing that god has for you okay you can't drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils, okay? So those who are not walking with God, God will remove them out of your life, okay? Now, of course, you know, you, God could bring you to someone who's not walking with God for just so you to be a light, you to, you to be the beacon of light, you being a chosen one, just so people could see by your example and start wanting to live right too as well. So that's why I said, guys, you know, discernment. Discernment is key. Uh, being able to discern what God's will is in your life, uh, what is good and then what is evil. Um, with the people around you so level up it's time to win guys it's time to win like it's time to win it's time to win and i want all my subscribers man i want all my viewers i want all of us to win together too man all of us to level up all of us to reap joy and blessings and happiness and um to really get what we want out of this life because life is short i just turned 30 years old a couple months ago man i remember being 25 it feels like it was yesterday you know how on snapchat right it has like the memories for those of you snapchat like like five years ago six years ago and it was showing like the stuff that i posted like you know five six years ago that i saved i'm like and i remember i, I shared it with my friend who was in the video with me he was like damn that's really been six years ago you know like it's really been it's really been six years ago time goes by fast man life is nothing but a vapor so 
uh, we don't, we only get one chance, man. We only get one chance to get it right with God and, and to, you know, to really seek out our, you know, the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart, you know, meditating on God. Like I'm on a walk right now. I wasn't even supposed to make this video right now, but it's like the spirit spoke to me to tell, to, to speak to you guys, man. I'm going to walk. It's freezing cold out here, man. <laughs> it's freezing cold. I plan to get out of California. It's like a fly. I plan to get out of California. It's just, I don't like the, I don't like, I don't like it here no more. I grew out of this place, but, um, yeah, but anyways, just, you know, really seek out the Holy Spirit, guys. Uh, don't seek out nobody else and seek out God and watch how your life changes, man. Watch how your life changes and just keep your eyes on him. Okay. When you keep your eyes on him, you're going to find yourself. Like a lot of people tell me, like a lot of people hit me up all the time. Always tell me, you know, Mark, I'm struggling with the sin and, uh, can you pray for me and stuff like that? And, you know, of course I'll, I'll pray for you. But when I tell people this all the time, a lot of the time people are struggling with sins because of course it's, it could be many things. I'm not going to just say it's one thing, but I say one of the main things, not, not the only thing, one of the main things is that you're not really seeking out God wholeheartedly full force, you know, like you really have to, if you have to cut off everybody for God, I went through that season guys where I literally cut off everybody, even people I wasn't supposed to cut off, but like I was really just trying to just focus on him. Like, you know, and those people who I cut off who didn't deserve to be cut off, we, we end up meeting up again. Best friends, still hanging out with them, you know, brothers, whatever, right? But you really have to have that desire, bro. Like, think about the times, guys, where we desired intercourse. We desired this and that, whatever the case is, right? We really had that deep desire, you know, what maybe it was like a relationship with a female or, you know, for you ladies, for, with a man, you had a, you had a deep desire uh, to make to make money or to get gains at the gym, right? You all that, all that desires, right? Or maybe you're a content creator, you desire to to blow up and get your message out. We want to have that same desire to seek out God with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. And I feel like, guys, that's the level up. That's the things that we should be focusing on, man. Keeping the faith in Christ and uh, keeping God's commandments. That's how we're gonna win. 2024. Woo! <laughs> That's how we're gonna win, man. Let's go. So, yeah, man. I'm just, I'm really, really excited about, you know, the future, man. Really excited about what God has for me, and um, also you guys too, man. Because I know a lot of you guys watching. Uh, you guys probably thought by the title and the thumbnail that you know I'm like quitting YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, guys, this is what I was anointed to do. I'll never quit this, you know, unless of course that God calls me out, but. Uh, this is what I love to do, man. I love to help people. I, I love God and the God in me works with me to reach out to you guys. And uh, yeah, just some, something to get inspired by. And uh, remember, focus on God, man. Don't focus on the storm. So those who are struggling with like a dark in darkness or maybe like in sin or whatever, don't focus on that. Focus on God, man. Focus on Jesus. Focus on the Holy Spirit and you will overcome, man. And remember, faith without works is dead. So apply your faith and your, through your faith, you're going to overcome. Okay. Don't grow weary. Um, don't don't be sad. Don't worry, bro. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I feel like worry is of the devil because that means you don't really trust God a lot. So I, I just I don't worry no more. And if I've ever feel that emotion or that feeling, I just pray, bro. I instantly start praying it off because I don't want to worry, man. Because I know God has me, and even though I might not understand what He has for me at that time, I know in due time I'll have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. To understand why things happen in my life so hope you guys got blessed by this message it is freezing cold i was supposed to walk five more miles bro it's way too cold man i'm about to go home <laughs> but yeah i uh, hope you guys got blessed by this message if you guys made it this far don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel share this comment all that i don't know if i could turn this video off because i have gloves on